for my wrongs, I have just begun. Ain't, ain't no mercy. Ain't, 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 ain't no mercy. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a bit late on my weekly upload. I'll try to upload a bit more uh, lately to keep up with that. But yeah, guys, uh, a lot of things have been going down. My parents are divorced. Then. Oh, uh, I, I got a new mic. <laughs> oh my god, I can't keep that shit up. But anyways, guys, yeah, actually, though, I got a real mic. Uh, not a real mic, Jesus. My own mic. <laughs> oh my god, I got it for like $20. It's like a Samsung Go mic. It, it has no stand. I just like put it up on like a fucking... On like a CD case. And I prop it up so that it works. But I actually got like a sort of like a real like uh, studio mic. Uh, it... It's pretty good. I mean, it costs seventy dollars, so it better be fucking good. <laughs> oh my lord! But uh, it's a uh, blue snowball, and I got a pop filter so that you know, there's no ear rape when I say peace or like fucking scream into the mic um, anymore. Like the pop filter still looks like a still looks like a tentacle. I mean, like I I like tentacles. I mean, t tentacles are nice. I mean, no, stop, stop, relax, relax. And let's get right into this like Peck at Three Musketeers, the juicy, too much elixir combo that will take 4,000 years to build up, but one that still will build up, they'll probably counter it anyways, the fucking Pekka, Mama Pekka swinging from the hip, she hasn't seen her time in the limelight in a long ass time, but right now Pekka is actually really pretty good, um, you know Pekka, there's not much to say about her, her fucking swing, uh, her blade sharp as fucking cheddar from the local farm stand with the shank goblins, the minions, the log, all the shit. Uh, trigger warnings, like as always, if you guys do not have the log, you can always replace it with a zap or arrows. Arrows works with the snake, but I would recommend zap just because you need a quick cycle. And yeah guys, let's uh, delve deeper into like how exactly the snake works. But anyways, you can also switch out uh, the ice bear for the freeze, but that... Is more gimmicky as always usually with the freeze card um, the ice bear works well a lot better with the psych mainly because of the cycle more uh, uh, utility aspect of the ice bear and I'll detail why this deck really needs that in a bit but anyways the P.E.K.K.A is so exceptionally good in this meta just because of the fact that because lightning is so powerful and because all these like little like things such as poison is meta and so on P.E.K.K.A can just chop through the heavy uh, troops so much easier uh, things such as bowler things such as executioner they give you a lot of trouble things such as like baby dragon those things all just get tanked up by the P.E.K.K.A and the P.E.K.K.A can just one shot most of those cards were just so prevalent inside the meta not only because of that but because of uh, uh pekka's one uh deploy second buff that pekka just received so that actually changes the momentum of the card by a lot pekka beforehand um with the three second deploy time it treats pekka and its playstyle more as a tank but pekka actually if you really think about it it's more of a moving counter pushing inferno tower um, how many times does Pekka actually tank for her troops and actually make it to the tower? Absolutely zero times. It's a it's card that applies threat and apply and is great for counter pushing and applies like um it grounds your deck to a point where that um allows something uh for you to uh invest elixir into and into defeating actually like meaty things inside everybody else's deck. And that's actually in incredibly prominent with three musketeers because a lot of times three musketeers, even though it covers a lot of things and it could destroy a huge push in a matter of seconds if the opponent does not have spells ready. Um most of the times when they go for a push, um you won't have nine elixir on the ready to take out their push. Especially things little things such as Hog Rider, uh, things such as Royal Giant and especially after you drop the elixir collector, which is probably uh, very probable, very probability probable, prob probablo. But um, uh, yeah, we got the elixir collector um to fuel the three musters and Pekka. And even though uh, don't be fooled by the high average elixir cost, don't be honey dicked boys, don't be catfish by the 4.1 elixir cost. Um, the Pekka. And the three musketeer make up a lot of that, and most times you probably won't be playing that because of the high, like the low elixir cycle cards inside the stack. Um, every other card inside the stack is probably like three elixir or lower, except the pump, but that generates elixir. And really, the goal of the stack is so that you could uh, keep on pumping, so that you could 
keep on resetting, defend their pushes, go on with little counter pushes with the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, minions and minor with these little troops. And because of the fact that P.E.K.K.A. takes out all of these meaty pushes so easily, could just drop a P.E.K.K.A., um, pump up, and keep on rinsing and repeating. While you're doing that, you definitely want to cycle and uh, arrange your cycle and apply bits of pressure so that you could allow, allow yourself to for them to not overwhelm you because of the fact that if you can't pump up and range your cycle and control the tempo with the P.E.K.K.A. it could definitely overwhelm you and get to a point where you over invest with the P.E.K.K.A. or three must here so or where you won't have enough looks to defend your pump and then you'll keep on sending little pushes at you where you can't defend and where you can't gather enough elixir to defend with the P.E.K.K.A. and 3 must tears. And this is where the minions and goblins and ice spirit come in so handily because they allow your deck to cycle extremely well and to control the tempo with minor because minor synergizes well with these cards as well and with the 3 must tears because uh, once you split the 3 must tears it allows for a pop up tank you never know where the miner is going to go. So that allows the surprise factor through 3 must tears where they don't defend your 3 must tears. You drop a miner to tank for them and they do exponential damage. Um, goblins used to be skeletons but I find that goblins with the, with the buff where that they don't die to zap anymore. They do shit they shank a lot of damage like they they do hella amount they do boat a boatload of damage like Jesus. These goblins these, these goblins are hella shifty but um uh then again minions uh, elixir collector and goblins they're all fireball bait so they allow your uh, three must tiers to get through um basically at the end of the game you just want to um, defend pump up and gain elixir advantage at the end they're gonna um, they're gonna out cycle them and then um, put them in a bad cycle where they can't defend your three musketeers or where they just use their spells against their elixir collector and they're gonna do use a huge counter push because this deck has such a huge beatdown threat ability with the P.E.K.K.A. and the three musketeers all in one single deck and yeah guys let's just um i'm pretty poor right now i got 25 gems i'm pretty much homeless out in these streets with these 25 gems i mean i will i will beg i will i will play i will win trade for gems i i, I will do it um, speaking of that, I actually got a max account recently, so hopefully you guys can check that out. I have, um, my personal best is 5k, but I'm just chilling out at 4k. I really don't feel like playing on ladder. But I do have a max account, so I'm on the leaderboards right now. Um, uh, I'll definitely make a video on that soon. Could make some high quality gameplay, uh, where we get on the leaderboards and dick some people. So hopefully that could be what happens. We got a classic challenge because I'm too poor, too poor. <laughs> a grand challenge. Or plubbing. Feels bad, man. So lone. Okay, we got the ice spirit. Hopefully you guys like the mic quality. Hopefully I sound like uh sound like Daddy Eclipse. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, minor minions. I go in. Zap, zap the minions. You really just want to apply pressure. Oh god. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A. will deal with the Royal Giant really nicely. And that's what I'm talking about. If it did, if it had the old deploy time, it would take out the Royal Giant way slower. And allow him a lot of time to, uh, to, to actually realize that the P.E.K.K.A. has been dropped in to counter it. So, uh, damn, that P.E.K.K.A. that swing, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, uh, Electro Wizard just got sent to your Shadow Realm. Here's just a tip. If you, uh, wait... For the tower to take out one fire spirit and you drop your ice spirit take it out it'll actually take out the next wave of fire spirits like over there so it'll take out two waves of fire spirits which is actually pretty nice because you never want the um uh probably should switch up the minor placement but that's fine i i'm guessing it doesn't have enough elixir to guess anyways uh the the skeleton army isn't going to do anything it won't make it to the tower so right now since he fireballed my pump i just want to reset I just want to reset with the pumps. Uh, I'm just splitting things, things in the back. I'm not uh, using a bunch of elixir because he knows. I know that he could just take advantage of that with the uh, bro giant. Like over here, we're just gonna P.E.K.K.A. in the ice burst so that we don't take too much damage. It's fine if you take a bit of damage because, um, of course, this deck is a beatdown deck, so you could take a bit of damage to uh, allow yourself to for that nice, juicy, big counter push. Hey, give me that one nice swing. Uh, minions on tower, nice. That's a lot of damage. Okay, since he just zapped, we just uh, punished with the uh, minor goblins, and for to allow us to cycle back to nice uh, 
a pump and notice a minor placement if you drop on that side if they drop any splash troops in the middle uh, they'll target the miner first as what just happened so we're just gonna minions and pekka okay he just fireballed so this is the point where because we have two pumps uh, we go in for the we go in for the kill okay we fucking three musketeers you never want to drop everything in one lane because then it will be immediately stopped like with the star mill over there so we're gonna uh we're just gonna play into the other lane and then we're gonna okay you shouldn't have enough elixir to defend this now uh yeah okay we're just gonna pekka and because we know we have such a high elixir advantage really right now we're just looking to cycle uh miners and apply pressure to him because we know he can just drop royal giant take out a tower and even though uh three musketeers uh we've probably done more damage in total um because three musketeers you always want to split them to avoid spells and and split up the resources uh you usually apply damage on both sides you don't want them to uh to out damage you on one side and for them to gain control and for them to just take out your tower because at the end of the day it's whoever takes out the first tower wins first so i just need to apply pressure there just a bit of health and we took the w boys let's go we body him to the shadow realm let's go but flow flow from fucking uh <laughs> what was that insurance company <laughs> jesus Uh, Ice Bear. I'm just looking to cycle. Uh, I'm just looking to cycle to pump or minor because right now he we had a really bad starting hand. So he's just giving us free damage. I, I, I don't know why. Yo, Flo. Yo, Flo, I think you need to switch up your game plan. Maybe 15 minutes or less can save you 15% on car insurance. Jesus. Okay. Oh, fucking God. Uh, Pekka should be able to clean him easily. Uh, uh, he drops that, so we're just gonna uh, uh, ice bear and log everything away. Damn, yo, that Pekka just be swinging hard. Okay, we're just gonna drop a miner and apply some pressure. Some minions, just looking to cycle really. Uh, nothing really. Uh, so we know we have the upper hand. We force them. Forced out of the golem. That minor and minion push was probably over commitment because now we can't pump. But it's fine. We'll just defend that with the picket. We probably shouldn't have done that minor push. Minions by themselves would have been good enough. So, uh. Yep. Ah. Uh, yo, look at that. Look at that picket though. Look at that value town. Jesus. I can't even look at this. Are you- This isn't PG-13, Jesus, oh my lo- I- I can't look. Man, Pekka needs some Jesus. He's just killing everyone out there. Uh, even though he pumped, we know that he does not have that much elixir because he just wastes so much. So right now, instead of taking out the pump, we're just gonna apply some pressure. And because we know our deck cycle is so fast, we could definitely drop another miner. <laughs> um... Uh, let's see. I'm just waiting for him to drop. Uh, oh fuck! I meant to split it in the middle. Uh, huh. I meant to drop split it in the middle. Two on the left side. Oh fuck. It's fine. We'll just defend that with the goblins to survive one hit. And then, uh, it does not look like he has any spells. So, I'll just go for, go in for the bum rush on the, on that side. Nice! Nice elite bars by him. Uh, they shouldn't do too much damage. And with that, because of our huge elixir advantage, we could just keep on cycling uh, through must tears. You never want to drop them all on one side. Uh, so, just want to apply pressure on both sides to um, make thin their resources. Yo, this guy is double bars. Yo, oh my god, I didn't even notice. Yo, that Pekka. Damn, that Pekka is just ruining dreams. Yo, one chop. Okay, <laughs> making soup out of all of these, <laughs> out of all of these people. And this isn't right. All right, we got Dawn. One last game. Uh, we're just, we're just uh, hmm. We need to take out the miner. Okay, so he has his own. Looks like a miner chip deck. Uh, skeleton army. We're just gonna log that. 
because we don't have anything else good right now. Uh, he drops a princess. Right now, we just really need to be able to control the temple with our pump. So we're just going to try to pump up. Uh, okay. We need to take the princess out with the goblins first. And then we could deal with the uh, infernal dragon with the minions. Oh, fuck. Okay. Log it. Log it. Log it. Oh, oh my god. I... Fuck. I pre come that log. Actually, no. That wasn't a pre come That was a... But that was way far out in the fucking atmosphere. Okay, elixir collector in the back. We chillin'. Oh god, I forgot this guy has a uh, miner. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna tank a lot of that damage. Because, uh. Damn, this guy's controlling us really well. That This deck suffers. One of the main things it suffers with is the fact is furnace. So you really should be able to, uh. Uh, we're gonna minions that and we're gonna log that over there okay and fine with that inferno dragon because then we could just build up pumps once it's double elixir time we should be able to uh should be able to build up a big push because we have a huge elixir advantage right now uh i'm just cycling to our minions right now and trying to distract and, and kite the about three and the uh, Inferno Dragon, so that should be good. Drop the Pekka in the back, old mama Pekka. No, wait, what? Who said that? Oh my god, what's wrong with these logs these days? Jesus, oh shit, he, he dropped Fireball, so this is our chance. Yo, this is our chance to rapper. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Miner, Miner should be able to take it out over there. We need to save our log for the for the three Musketeers. Uh, we're gonna drop uh, Ice Bear over here so he has that over there so we're gonna drop that over there 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 and yo let's go let's get it hey fuego hit him with that oh my god i went from zero to 100 real quick jesus <laughs> oh my god see this is what i'm talking about with the oh with pega three months years with a huge burst potential it could take out like two towers in a matter of seconds. See your life flashing behind. And <laughs> see your life flashing behind your eyes. And yeah, guys, um, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, you guys like the three musters Pekka deck. Um, don't body too much. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay safe. Keep it. Anyways, guys, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. All homo. I mean, uh, uh, no homo, right? That's that's what they say. And hopefully you guys like the mic. I'll see you guys in the next video.